Hello again everybody, um, we are looking today at part 3 and it's just a very quick one today because the last one was really long. So a quick one today, this is going to be the um, character select screen, actually it's going to be the sort of the type, the, the starting sort of splash screen for the um, project for, uh, as well. So um, we're going to start off, um, I'm just going to leave myself a little bit of space here. Um, oh, that's why we were do, testing that last time, so let's get rid of that. Um, so I've got my defined inventory stuff here, and underneath that, um, I'm actually going to uh, leave a little bit of a space. I will be defining some more stuff above it um, shortly, but um, I, like I say, I'm going to start off with doing the um, this starting point to the actual game. So the first thing I'm going to do is, if you remember last time, I said that we created this inventory wipe, um, which will actually create inventory.txt each time the program is run, and it wipe it, anything that's in there for us. So we've wiped the inventory, first of all, by having that. Um, now I'm just going to do, so my game is basically going to be that it's going to generate 10 random encounters, my hero will have to defeat them, and then we will go, we'll create some sort of like boss encounter, um, it will save our score into like a high score.txt file, and then we can, you know, we can challenge our friends or the rest of it to um, get the highest score and all the rest of it. So um, what I'll just say here is that um, you are challenged to defeat uh, 10 monsters okay so print so um, originally we um, came up with three classes, we came up with a warrior, a wizard and an archer and what we're going to do here is we're going to give the user a choice and that is going to be an integer, we're going to say choice equals int input and we're just going to just literally give them a list so one will be warrior slash n, two is going to be art, uh, wizard Slash n, and then three is going to be archer. So two brackets at the end there. So the slash n's there. I think we've been through this before, but those will actually create new lines for me. So I've created like a little list here, um, one on top of the other. And then I'm going to do my if statement. So if choice equals one. Character equals warrior. So that is my class above. So just make sure I've actually done it exactly right. So I'm just caught. I'm saying that if they choose the first, the first option here, the character will be this class, and it will have these attributes. Uh, you can probably guess what I'm going to do after this. So it's elif uh, choice equals, equals two. Character equals wizard, and then uh, another elif here. Oops, it was three. Character equals archer, and then finally my else would just be um, if they've made a mistake. Um, so that would just be print invalid. And then I will just put this um, put this there again. And then that allows them just to uh, put another one in there. Um, so, and then I'll just do print good choice. You are a Now, um, I'm just going to go back to my classes here because um, what's happening here with my actual choice is that instead of me having to basically make three programs, one for a warrior, one for a wizard, one for an archer, I'm saying that when my user selects warrior, wizard, or archer, that'll just be saved in the character variable. And then when I want to reference something happening to the user, 
instead of having to do warrior, wizard, or archer, I can just reference character. So here you're going to see I'm using character.name. Um, if I selected, if choice is one, so if I want to be a warrior basically, that is actually saying warrior.name. And I'm calling a um, property within the warrior. So um, what, I actually don't think I have it in here. So I'm actually just going to add three more um, bits to my classes here. So I'm just adding the names here. Name equals. We will be adding more stuff to our classes as we go. So um, there we go. So I've now got each one of these has their name in them. And now here where I reference it, so this is um, you know character.name, so it must be warrior.name. So this will say, good choice, you are a, and then it will come up with the warrior.name. Um, let's just make sure here that I've put in the comma, or else that won't work. And now I'm going to run my program. Okay, so my program's now running here. I have the choice to do uh, warrior, wizard, or archer. And um, I am actually going to, you know, whichever one I select, press enter, and it will say, good choice, you are a warrior. If I go back, and I run it again. Uh, if I did uh, three, there we go, you are an archer. So like I said, it was only gonna be a quick one today. Um, that is just the um, uh, creating the character select screen there. So the next session that we are going to be doing is actually going to be looking at creating the, um, the simple battle. Um, so uh, actually how to generate a random monster and then how to actually fight that random monster. So I hope you got a little bit out of that and um, I hope you come back to have a look at part four.